people, this is Sonali, the Melodramatic Bookworm. If you've been here before, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, then welcome to the Melodramatic Bookworm family. And please ignore the noises in the background because there are children screaming, there are adults screaming, and everybody is screaming just when I have to film a video. But this is the first in a series of vlogs that I am doing. I asked you whether you would like to see weekly reading vlogs, but since I didn't know how to make it weekly because i wanted to divide the month into sections like seven days and since only february has 28 days and in which i can actually perfectly fit four reading vlogs so what i will do is since i am starting this new series of reading vlogs on my channel what i will do is i will start off with the first 10 days of October and then I will go on to weekly reading vlogs. Yeah, I've spent way too much time filming about this. I keep stopping and I keep re uh, repeating what I'm saying because I know I'm not making sense to my own ears. But yes, uh, this is the start of a brand new reading vlog and I actually finished reading a book last night. Or should I say this morning? But no, it was last night because it was just past 12 a.m. and I finished reading Ritu Veds Chandni by Ameya Narwankar and it, it is one of the most beautifully written and beautifully illustrated books I've seen in a long time and I absolutely loved it. It's like 35 pages long and I must say a big 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 thanks to NetGalley for this but I, I love it. Like it shows the homophobia that's conditioned and how children are the purest of us all. Because they don't have prejudices. It's only societal conditioning, only conditioning from the people around them that children grow up into who they are. Did that make sense? I don't know. So what I'll be doing now is I'll be filming a lot of videos. I have like three videos, three, four videos to film. And if you've already seen me in this shirt, that means I am filming this the day that I'm filming those videos like I, I don't even okay so I'm just going to go and once I finish filming the, these videos I will read to sleep in a sea of stars that book is somewhere here you can't see it at the moment but I will be reading that book because I carried it over from September and uh, it's long overdue I need to re finish it it's so so fast paced and awesome. I swear I have a better vocabulary people. Hey people, it's the 2nd of October and I realize I haven't updated you since yesterday, I think. But uh, I started a one of my secret projects for that I will be doing on YouTube. And I got through about 24 pages of that. And then today I got through 30 pages of To Sleep in a Sea of Stars and I'm hosting a 48 hour readathon for on Instagram, not on Instagram, anybody can join it basically, but uh, it's the 48 hour readathon for this weekend of the Drama Queenathon. As you know, all my readathons are called Drama Queenathon and I just changed the editions, but that's what's happening. So for the 48 hour readathon, I started reading this and I am now about 40 pages in, no 35 pages in and I am sure that I will be able to finish it now in about um, one or two hours. It's about 11 in the night and my schedule, sleep schedule is anyway all over the place. So I thought I'll finish this, uh, do a little bit of a reading of either To Sleep in a Sea of Stars or the book that I'm doing uh, reading for that secret project. So that will be helpful. and. Um, yeah, so that's the update for today. Otherwise, I thought of vlogging, but the whole day today we were outside and I'm really tired because we had to walk a lot today. So yeah, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, bye. Hey people, it's about 2.10 in the afternoon of uh, October 3rd and we are in the middle of uh, the 48 hour readathon that I am hosting and this was completely an impromptu decision for me to make and I suddenly thought why not do a 48 hour readathon and get some proper reading done and whittle down my TBR. 
So as I might have mentioned in yesterday's clip, the readathon started at 10 p.m. last night, and yesterday, whole of yesterday, I was not able to get any reading done. So what I did was at 10 o'clock, I went live. I talked about the books that I put into the pool from which I can choose the books for this readathon and I started reading The Wild Way Home by Sophie Kirtley. I finished this at around 2.30 I think it took me way longer than I intended because I get distracted very easily and that's what, exactly what happened but I did finish it and I really enjoyed reading this one. It's a children's book with lots of adventure and lots of life lessons, lots of morals going on in here and the importance of family and there's, there's so much in here that at one point I was like what is going on, why is this relevant but overall I enjoyed it and I love the main character, his name is Charlie Merriam and I loved it. I loved it. That's all. I will talk more about this in my October wrap up in the first part of my October wrap up which I am definitely doing. I am not going to let it slide like I did last month but I am definitely doing the first part and you can see more about it there. So what I am planning to pick up next is, I am actually not sure, hold on. This is also same 240-ish pages. Hat. Okay, <laughs> a book fell down. Okay, the... Uh, I'm still in two minds about it. But why am I thinking so much? Anyway, I'm planning to pick up The Great Garden by Meg Rossoff. And this is a short book. It's... The print is big and it's easy to read and all that. Hopefully this will also turn out to be an intriguing and interesting read like The Wild Way Home. Let's see how it goes. I will be going live at around 3 o'clock. It's uh, 2 1 3 right now and I'll be going live at that time and there's a reading sprint basically like I forget to give the most important of details. Why I'll be going live is because it's a there's a live reading sprint. So at 2 30 I will mention to my followers that there's a life's reading sprint. Yeah. Hey people, it's about 7.25 in the evening and I just got off a live session and I actually wanted to do a reading sprint on the live session but that did not happen because I just 10 minutes before the live session uh, was scheduled I finished reading The Great God and the book is somewhere there and I don't have the energy to go bring it he he here and uh, I finished reading it and I really enjoyed reading it. It's a very short read, it's fast paced and I love how it talks about people and first impressions and facades and learning more about the human race and I'm really sorry about the bad lighting but I don't have the energy to go and fix this camera on a stand and then start talking so I'm just going to do this. Maybe that's how vlogs are right but anyway I really enjoyed The Great Garden and uh, in about a few minutes I will start reading The Inimitable Jeeves by P.G. Wodehouse which I brought in from September and yeah that's that I think. So yeah I, I will see you on the next update. I don't know when I will do it. Maybe I'll finish The Inimitable Jeeves and then maybe I will. Who knows who can tell with me. Like I'm a very Please excuse the mess in the background. Not this mess. This is not a mess. This is a mess. Okay. Anywho, I just wanted to update you about what I've been doing since last night. I think I did I did a clip or something. So I'll just do a recap of what has happened over this, you know, 48 hour readathon that I've been hosting on Instagram. I will be going live in about 20 minutes it's about 3 40 now so there's a reading sprint scheduled for four o'clock and it's a 15 minute reading sprint and i will go live and then we will talk about it what will we talk about i have no idea we will read we will read together so hold on the book and uh, last night i finished reading the inimitable jeeves by pg woodhouse i started reading mouse by art spiegelman and i'm about 
let me tell you 58 pages in and i can feel it i'm loving this see the thing is for books that i love all i can say is oh my god this is so good i'm loving it and etc etc but for books i hate i can make an hour long rant video about it so is that my fault or is it just a human tendency to pick out the bad things in a book focus where the focus lies anyway yeah so this is what i'm currently reading i have put to sleep in a sea of stars on hold but i really need to finish it this week it's going to be tough once i finish reading this i will pick up ahalya i think i'm not sure i can i cannot make any profit promises i might either pick ahalya or i might pick Anne of green gables who knows who can tell i think uh, i will finish this in an hour in about two hours if i sit down and read it because i'm really paying attention to the details in here so that's about it so yeah that's all the updates for now see you next time whenever my brain thinks that yes i have to do a little update kind of clip for the vlog but my brain isn't working no that's why bye hey people it's 12 30 in the night so since it's crossed 12 i think it is 5th of october now should we be that specific uh, anyway we are so what i wanted to update you on is that i just finished reading mouse by art spiegelman and it is such a an intricately crafted uh, graphic novel i mean it's the a real story it's the true story of art spiegelman's father and uh, how he ended up in uh, auschwitz and what he went through during his lifetime but it is also the story of um, how racism can be found in all places and by all places i mean all places sometimes we don't even know that it is there and that is the least of the problems that the author has tackled in that graphic novel basically it's the story of uh, world war ii the holocaust and how vladik uh, Spiegelman that is Art Spiegelman's father the author's father he went through it all and I loved it my heart broke in a lot of places but Vladek was also very particular about his likes and dislikes and about what he wanted in his life how he wanted things to be in his life and after going through that whole uh, torturous experience it, he it sort of makes sense that he would become such a person but it also goes to show that human nature in general is sort of very i won't call it fluid i'll call it fickle because it changes from time to time and i saw that in this book so yeah i'll see you in the next update i'm not i don't intend to start any book now i thought i would start on the secret project but i don't think i have the energy right now <laughs> people i know the lighting is a little little not a little very bad because it's about six in the evening and it's already like going the light is going and i had a very long day today or at least the day during which i was awake i have been working i filmed two videos and i filmed a clip for a third and this is the fourth one that i am filming this is just a little update i just remembered that i didn't mention the date today is the 6th of october and so far i've finished reading five books and all of them are short and uh, right now i'm reading two books so i'll just take you through them before we get on and the books that i'm reading are uh, to sleep in a sea of stars and a secret project that i have going and uh, i don't know what i will be reading today i'm i really want to read to sleep in a sea of stars because that's a very fast paced read and i really want to get through quite a bit of it at least today i I do have other works as well because I need to work on my blog, I need to edit a video for Thursday and I need to sort of make a schedule for October. There is a schedule but I need to just fine tune it a bit. So I, I'll be busy over there. So maybe I will start reading to sleep in a sea of stars after I finish editing a video for the video for Thursday. So 
Uh, and there's a bunch. There's a lot. Uh, coffee is getting me through all this. It's October the 9th and I know I've been really bad at filming at about filming clips and about vlogging in general but uh, I haven't been in a good space for the past whatever few days that rhymed I haven't been in a good space for the past whatever few days <laughs> awesome okay I don't know how that's awesome but I just feel it is so let's go with my gut for now stop That's the thing, I haven't been in a good space of mind when it comes to vlogging and I I just haven't been able to be that active on Instagram as well. I just post sto random stories and sometimes, some days I don't post those also and post, forget it and interacting is like, I've forgotten all about it. And I know I need to get there sometime, but uh, I don't, and I don't know when I will. I, I just wanted to update you on what I've been reading, and uh, I, I'm reading three books at the moment. One is a secret project, which I can't talk to you about because of my own commitment, but there are two others which I will tell you about. One second. Yeah, so one is To Sleep in a Sea of Stars by Christopher Paolini. I haven't finished this. I'm at page, 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 page page 370 and um, I, I know I think I said this in a vlog that I'm doing for this book but I thought I'll finish it last weekend but I didn't and now again I'm saying that I want to finish it this weekend but again I don't know if I will be able to but so but that's the status on this but uh, I also started reading Rebecca which I'm buddy reading with Nandini and we are about six chapters in I'm on page 68 right now and uh, I will read about eight more chapters before we discuss what has been happening so far and I've been listening to this book this audiobook for this as well and the combination is simply brilliant I love it and since this is a classic I feel like that's a combination that is really needed for me to make any sort of head headway into this. So this is about an unnamed narrator who is a companion to a very grumpy, bitter old lady who is sort of under the impression that whatever she says is right. I mean, you are the idiot for not understanding her. You are the idiot for not doing things uh, how she wants. This unnamed narrator is about in her early 20s, I think, and she's like new to society and all that. And when they are in Monte Carlo, they meet Maxim de Winter, who is from Mandalay, and he has lost his wife. And uh, this old lady, Mrs. Van Hopper, she sort of starts wondering why he's here and she starts on all that uh, I need to introduce myself to him and then I can invite myself over to Mandalay and I really want to see how it is so that's her whole socializing agenda whenever she meets anyone famous and uh, that's how she thinks she will gain connections and the fact that she's so obnoxious does not even register in her own mind because um, I don't think obnoxious people realize how obnoxious they are There's, that's an overload of uh, the word obnoxious Anyway, so when this opens, the main character is not in Mandalay and there's some sort of situation going on which I could not 
make out what it is like what happened that made them go live somewhere else and dream of mandalay and dream of going to mandalay because as the chapters go by i'm like she was in mandalay what happened to her so that's what is going on and i'm really liking the writing because it is it is beautiful in a way only classics can be but yeah that's the update for now uh, i will be filming a few videos today <laughs> because i just want to make sure that the entirety of october is accounted for and that i have enough material so, so that i don't scramble at the last moment and i'm like who am i i don't even know anymore so i have a long list of uh, things to do today first is i need to film four four videos four and because i take that on myself right and then i have to edit a video from for tomorrow which is half done but i'm really dreading editing it because of how how much i bumbled in there like i don't make sense at all and then i have to read uh not rebecca no i will read rebecca and i will read some of my uh secret project and i will read to sleep in a sea of stars and then i have to uh plan out a lot of the content for october then i have to write a blog post and upload it and then what else is there yeah and then i have to work a little i have some editing work to do not video editing some other freelance editing to do huh. <laughs> so it's going to be a fun day Hey people it's October 10th and the last day of this particular weekly reading vlog I did not get much reading done yesterday because I was uh, working I was filming a lot of videos I had to edit a video for today which was which I had to do because it's World Mental Health Day today and I put up a video talking about 10 books with mental health representation in them they are not necessarily mental health books all of them but they have mental health rep in them so uh, that video went up today at 11 in the morning which is my usual time to post but uh, yeah other than that i've just been doing the same old same old like i I've, i've been feeling very restless i have not i i don't know what to do how to get through doing stuff because there's so much to do that i don't know where to start and because of that i i'm panicking and because of that i'm sort of thinking about uh, the whole bigger picture and about how maybe it does not matter anymore and uh, thoughts like that and i'm not a fan of these thoughts anyway uh, i'm here for a uh, for an update because uh even though i didn't read a lot last night i did get through quite a bit and uh, i read a little bit of to sleep in a sea of stars yesterday i got through about just a few pages not much i think about 30 pages or something and after that i i just got held up in other work so what i'm i'm not going to read this right now uh i will read it maybe late evening perhaps but late evening i have other works to do but oh god i've had it anyway what i am uh, what, what i need to read is daphne du maurier's rebecca uh, we actually had to have a discussion on the 6th i think but i was not able to finish this bo- uh, finish the given sections at that time and then we postponed it and then i was not in uh, in the headspace to discuss it so we uh, we thought we'll club a few more chapters and we'll discuss it today so we will be discussing until chapter 15 which is going to be a lot and um, we will be discussing this book tonight hopefully hopefully i don't end up you know being in that headspace 140 pages 145 pages oh it's okay I think I can do it. I think I can. And since I'm listening to uh, the audio book as well uh, while I'm reading this, I don't think it's going to be an issue. But I'm also contemplating uh, starting one other secret project that I have. And I don't know what to do. Oh shoot, my whole October schedule is going for whack. 
Oh, fine. Anyway, that's what I'm going to go do. I'm just going to uh, read Rebecca while listening to the audiobook. Can you shut up? bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time it's clear to see from up here the world seems small we can sit together it's so beautiful you and me we meant to be hey people it's past four o'clock and i haven't been able to read much just a few pages here and there and i really don't know why that's happening maybe i'm in a reading slump and i'm not able to do anything but i've put rebecca aside for the time being and uh, i will probably pick up the uh, one of the secret projects that i have on that I have I need to do for YouTube and I'll probably read that uh, if I happen to read anything else then I don't know how it's going to go so if I pick the secret project then I won't be uh, talking about it so this will be my last clip for this reading vlog for this weekly reading vlog but if I pick something else then I'll update you during the night so it's a uh, it's a very uncertain thing right now but either way i'll be signing off for the time being for a while and i'll only see you in the next update or in the next reading vlog so until then bye bye